It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, where we've got ourselves a Super Bowl 20 rematch. It's the Chicago Bears and the New England Patriots under the lights on Thursday night. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Tonight on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the New England Patriots. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and for both of these teams that we're going to see, Charles, the future is kind of right now. You know, this is something you only see a handful of times in an NFL season where you've got a rookie quarterback versus a rookie quarterback. And I think a lot of that has to do with the era we're in now because our dads, they didn't see rookie quarterbacks go against each other. In fact, it could be two, three years before they even saw the playing field. Nowadays, you get drafted, they expect you to play earlier, and these guys as competitors, they'll take their lumps early, but they'd rather be on the field. Here's Cairo Santos now, ready to get this one started. And we are underway in Foxborough. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. So now here come the Patriots to take over on offense. And here's a look at their leader, standing 6'4". We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yardage with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Here's Gibson to start the drive. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Well, Charles, in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think but, you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. Second and 10. First carry now for Ramondre Stevenson. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And that was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. Looking to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And a look at a guy, definitely got a little razzle-dazzle to him. Can do it with his arm or his legs. Their mobile QB. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. 
A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Throwing to start the drive, Williams. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. To throw on second down, Williams. There's a short throw. It's caught by Kinnett. That one a first down pickup of eight. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll run for the first time with DeAndre Swift. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. This second and four. Once again, it's Swift. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. A couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Second and six. Operating from the gun, Williams. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 27-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has, and if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. From the 20, here's second and three. They go quickly here out to Moore. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him. That's to Moore, he's got it. Touchdown, Bears. From 13 yards out. And the Bears put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Those are the drives that prove a lot. You got a rookie quarterback, Charles, you're on the road, takes him down, throws the touchdown pass. And in a game like this, with, as you described, a rookie quarterback, the team usually says, okay, we got to take care of this guy. We got to protect him. But when he goes out and plays like this on the first drive on the road, he doesn't have to say, I'm here to be your leader. They just need to follow him. Santos with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now, 
after the touchdown. Here's Santos to kick this one away. And Rager will not return it, so it'll come out to the 25 on the touchback. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. A quick throw there is incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. And he's missed now in his first four passing attempts. The rhythm is just not there to begin this ball game. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Back to throw. And that is incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Here's Bryce Barringer now. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Bears take over. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got them the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. Williams throwing on first down. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He's got the connection to Moore. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He had the touchdown on the opening drive. Now he's got a first down. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. Williams now on first down. His throw incomplete. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Williams. Is incomplete. How about this offense already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? It's certainly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7 nothing lead, more apt to take a shot like that downfield? Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try and pressure advantage. Again, he'll drop to throw. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Ouch, you thought you had the defensive stand. Roughing the passer wipes it out. What does every defense talk about? Three and out, right? Thought they were able to get off the field. 
Not so. They'll look to throw again. The Pats are gonna get there, down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Back to throw. Williams. And that's off the mark. Incomplete. What a sequence there defensively. You get the sack to move him to third and long. Then here, just nothing available. And he's got to throw it away. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, Williams. He's got it, hit the 15. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Third and 19, no problem as they're able to convert. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route, well run. And the football, right on the money. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, here's Swift. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Juwan Bentley there to get him down. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Right back to Swift again on second down. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Five yards, now it's third and five. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Here is third and five. Operating from the gun, Williams. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Fine work by the Patriot D there, and it's fourth down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. So on fourth down, Cairo Santos on now for the Bears' field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. So a touchdown on their opening drive, and three more here, and it adds to their first quarter lead. Yeah, everything's going according to plan so far because the offense has moved the ball, defense able to do their job, and here the special teams unit comes through with their contribution. A field goal to make it 10-zip. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's complete. Demario Douglas with it. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. 
So finally completes his first pass. Credit the defense, though. They've been showing him some different looks, keeping him off balance. Yeah, I like, it. I like the observation that you had there because when you give him different looks and you give any quarterback different looks, it takes just a little bit longer to process sometimes, and you don't throw the ball with the same confidence. You're not sure that that's where you should go with the football, and that's worked for the defense early in this game. And now he's got his first completion. Let's see if his confidence comes back, and he starts to get into a nice little groove. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Stevenson now on first and 10. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Now a pass here caught by Hunter Henry. And Henry's going to pick up a Patriots first down as he'll get this to the 44-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. A pair of first downs gives him a first and ten up at the 44. They'll look to throw here. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. That's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think it. you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. It's caught inside the 25. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 33 yards that time. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense. But on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Back to throw again. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football as they go to work on a first and goal. Here's Stevenson, and he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll set up a throw. Touchdown! Kendrick Bourne. Touchdown, and the Patriots have got it back to within a score. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And that'll cut it to three at now following the touchdown back out to kick it away Valus Jones now from his end zone 
And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, <laughs> right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Back to throw. Williams looking for Allen. He's got him on the slam. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Looking to throw. Williams. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have the Bears first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Good protection there on third down. This is just a simple flip to his tight end outside the numbers. And he's able to haul it in and pick up the first down. So here's a first and ten at the 38. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Swift going to try up the middle. And the defense on him quickly there as they stop him at the 40 for a gain of just two. The offense on third down tonight, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and eight. Back to throw. Williams. Able to find the open man. That's complete. A huge play there for Chicago. 42 yards. Well, it looked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He has such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps. He delivers a big play here for this offense. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Off the play fake, Williams. They'll roll him out right. Williams loses the football, and it's picked up by the Patriots. We know he's got the speed to get downfield, Charles, but there's the negative side, a little loose with the football that time. And that's normal, especially when you have his type of talents because you feel like you're into the open field and maybe you don't feel the people who are around you or closing in. All quarterbacks have to do extra ball security drills with the way the game's played now because defenses, they attack the football as much as they attack the runner. Come out throwing here to start the drive. In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone loose. And this will be gathered up in the end zone. And that's a defensive touchdown. That's something you have to be wary of on your side of the field, that close to the goal line. The defense, they are looking for that football. They got it, they scored it. You are so right, and the quarterback has to speed things up himself. So close to the goal line, they're going to get after you. Make sure you get rid of the football and in a safe place.
Now the point after try for Santos. It's good to make it 17-7. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And Rager will not return it, so it'll come out to the 25 on the touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And they'll be looking to start fresh. Just a moment ago, they were backed up, coughed up the football, and then saw it go the other way for six points. I just wonder, partner, sometimes they put such an emphasis on things. And you know in that situation, as they ran out there, they were told, take care of the football, don't cough it up. And sometimes that's the last thing you hear, and that's exactly what you do. They'll come out throwing here on first down. This one left side caught by Gibson. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. And yeah, a quick throw here, that's complete. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give him a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll drop to throw. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Kyler Gordon able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. I don't care if you're taking it in round one, you're undrafted, whatever. As a rookie quarterback in this league, you're going to have games where you face adversity like this. Lessons. All the time you're going to face these lessons. The key for this guy is, will he be able to bounce back in the next one? Because right now, this has not been his game. <laughs> After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. I don't think anyone thought we'd see a run facing second and that long, and that element of surprise, I think, helped make that play so successful. Nice effort on that carry, and it took what seemed like second and impossible, now has him within throwing range of a first down. Third down and six. Back to throw here. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. It's Jervon Dexter who got in to drop him. The lessons will continue of this rookie. He's got to learn how to read situations just a little bit better. That far behind the line, he's got to find a way to get rid of the football and not take the sack, whether it's with his legs or just throwing it away. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Now back to throw. Finding Bourne here over the middle. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that'll force upon him a third and 14.
Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. On third down, here's Gibson. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. Here's Bryce Barringer on now to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. And last time, the fumble, the turnover. Now they still have the lead, but I don't think coaches care. The turnovers will bother them no matter what the scoreboard says. That's the relief that you still have the lead, but coaches look at what if and what it should be. Turning the ball over when they've got a chance to score more points and increase the lead, that's what's going to affect them. And they're also thinking to future weeks, maybe when the game's closer, right? No doubt about it. You want to clean up everything. Let's just be honest about it. They want everything to be perfect at all times. They don't want to give up anything that's going to hurt their team. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, they held them to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at them. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Here's Williams to throw on second down. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. The Bears on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll try and run here with Swift. A little juke. And yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Off play action. Williams, a throw left side taken in by Komet. And he goes out right around the 39. That'll give him eight that time. And it'll be second in a couple. Nice play call. A little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. Now a second and two. He's going to try and take off with it. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. A solid gain of seven yards that time on the keeper and a first down. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Here's a toss play right to Swift. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. 49 yards rushing for him now to this point. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a game. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. Who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Another goal around now for the Patriot offense. 
Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter. And now, if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. They run once more with Stevenson. And he's got room. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Give him 15 yards on that one. And New England has a first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll look to throw. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. They'll look to throw. Checking this down to Stevenson. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Now the Patriots moving quickly, hustling up to the line. On third down here, Stevenson. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. I'll tell you, as a defender, you've got to make life as difficult as possible when you're trying to cover a big tight end because you know his catch radius is huge. He's unable to pull that one in, though. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. On the draw, it's Gibson. And a solid run down inside the 30. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they're back with it a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. So it's fourth and one. They wind up taking the three. But I'm not sure that that offensive unit, judging by the sideline, <laughs> Charles was in 100% agreement with the decision. No, not at all. But the head coach has final call on this. We know that. But let's face it. Offenses want to feel like, hey, you believe in us? Let us go for it? We'll see if that is a problem for them moving forward in this game. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. 
And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. Well, let's shine the spotlight on the former Georgia Bulldog, DeAndre Swift, who's set to begin this next drive. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who've been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys <laughs> on the other side of the football, and they've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellas. Not an easy thing for them to do. Now Williams on first and 10. Throws left side complete to Keenan Allen. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Operating from the gun, Williams. Give him another one right back to Allen. Four yards the pick up, first down. They'll run the draw here with Swift. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we reach halftime with the visiting Bears out on top here. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. One touchdown is the difference, 17-10 our score, and we are back underway on EA Sports. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. The Bears offense set to go to begin the third quarter. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to, how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Well, that kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for Knox. Partner it took a while for him to lock onto a receiver, and he finally found his man coming left to right across the formation. But by the time he got the ball to him, not much of a chance to turn up field and make anything out of it. Williams, off play action. And a throw there, going to be incomplete. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion and, more importantly, force a quick punting situation. Here comes the Bears punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And this returnable for Rager. Just a net of 34 there following a punt of 44 yards. And the Patriots take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. 
And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. They go play action here on first down. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They're going to look to throw. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. We've seen the pressure get to him several times in this game. There, though, we see him escape it. And we've seen this rookie video before as well. That type of pressure, oftentimes, what do you resort to? Your legs, try and escape. What you hope is that this doesn't become habit for him, that he learns how to handle the pressure, still keep his eyes downfield, and make some throws. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and six. On the counter, it's Stevenson. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Oftentimes we play as an offense for their variety, being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. And he will have a Patriots first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. A lot depend on the spot there, and he got it, but it wasn't by much, was it? I remember Coach Madden talking about, depending on which foot the official used, that would tell you whether you had the first down or not. You want that upfield foot to be the one that spots the ball, don't you? And you and I have the luxury of a couple extra views here in the booth, and he did get it, but not by much. He's got it to the 43 here. From the 43, here's a second and seven. Again, it's Stevenson. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Seven yards there and a first down. Offensive linemen are famous for doing their job no matter who's carrying the ball. But when they have the confidence that the person carrying it can break off big time runs, that makes them block just a little bit harder. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. They'll look to throw here. Blitz coming and down he goes. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. This rookie was already being tested as he tries to lead a comeback here in the second half. Now he's got to get some momentum back after that sack and a big loss.
Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Back to throw. Now throw right side here going to be incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw. Complete. It's Henry. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be fourth down. But well, looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that will cut this lead back down to four now. It's 17-13. So good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit him, partner. You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. Well, that was a high school. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level. You hit them, they go through. So after the field goal, Rylan back out as he'll send this one away. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. The Chicago offense set to get started. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Williams now throwing on first down throwing quickly there but it's incomplete he was looking to get that one to DJ Moore that'll bring up second down <laughs> to throw again Williams there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Here's second and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. Complete on the quick throw to Moore five yards now it's third and five they'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw and he goes down it's a Patriot sack Matthew Judon in there to take him down. I like how they started the third quarter here. They forced a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. We'll call that a 47-yard punt, a return of just three. And out will come the offense as they take over. New England's offense set to go. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, 
but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. It may be only a gain of three yards, but that back, he deserves a lot more credit on the play. That could have easily been stopped at the line, but his vision and his determination found some space to turn it into that modest game. Here's second and seven. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. That window closed up there, and it's behind him and incomplete. They always say that real estate is about location. Well, guess what? When it's a slant route, the quick ones, Timing, timing, timing. Got to be able to lead your man with the football. And the timing off right there, threw it behind him. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. They'll set up a throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense. And he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And a pretty good burst there as they get this across midfield and down to the 46. 84 yards on the ground so far for Stevenson and a first down. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme, when you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole and just go, sometimes it's thing of beauty. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said, of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. On the handoff, Stevenson, and nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. What we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Here's second and eight. He'll get this into the hands of Stevenson. The result, only four yards there on the play. And they're going to have a third down. Boy, that was certainly well-read defensively. And the key to any screenplay is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackle him for just a short gain. This now a third and four. He'll drop to throw. Throw out wide is incomplete. Brings up fourth down, solid coverage by the Bears' D. Here's Chad Ryland now on for the field goal. Right hash mark, a 42-yard attempt. And this one is right through, and that'll bring him back within a point. He's got nine points on field goals now. He's made three of them. That gets him a bit closer, but there's no question they need to start turning some of these threes into sixes. And for him, it's not his concern, right? 
He just goes out there when they call on him and goes ahead and puts points up on the board. But the offense has got to get together and figure out what's stalling their drives so they have to keep calling on him. Ryland now following the touchdown back out to kick it away. This take it in at the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25 yard line. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Here's Williams on first down. That complete hits Tyler Scott with it. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, a 22. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. And we've got a dandy here. A one-point game as we begin the fourth. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. Now we're going to get a stoppage. There appears to be an injured bear on the field. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Now second and nine. Looking to throw. Williams. This will be caught downfield by Moore. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 32-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Back to throw. Williams. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down in the yard. Operating from the gun. Williams. That's complete right side to commit. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. Back to throw again. Touchdown, Bears! Cole Komet, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Bears will add to their fourth quarter lead. They have to love seeing that from their young quarterback here in the fourth quarter, able to further that lead with a touchdown pass. He didn't go turtle, did he? And you know what I mean by that. I had an old coach used to say all the time, hey, when we have a lead late, don't just tuck in and try and ride it out. Go out and play and extend the lead. And that's what he did. Santos now to add the PAT. And with that, the lead is up to eight. A drive that time of six plays. And it was all capped off by Cole Komet with a touchdown catch.
Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. Here's Rager. He's going to bring this one out. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So the Patriots coming out now. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Well, give them credit for trying, but there's no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stuff the run, and then executed. Second and nine. Straight ahead, Gibson. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. Not the start to the drive they were looking for. That run doesn't do much at all. No, not at all, and it leaves them with third and long. And you know, this is the time of game where these drives really, really start to matter. They've got to make some moves. The offense on third down tonight, they're right at about the league average, 40%, four for 10. This is third and seven. Try to lay one up deep. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Trying to get a big strike right there and hopefully tie this game up in the late going. But the coverage was there and this winds up incomplete. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. his way in to blow that play up. The job of any linebacker involves having enough strength to fight off a blocker and get the ball carriers, but in this case, I think we can safely say he beat him right off the snap to get into the backfield and make that play. Now Williams looking to throw on second down. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Operating from the gun, Williams. And that will be incomplete. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them, because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. And now out come the Patriots. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. Now a second and ten. 
out of the gun. They'll look to throw. That's Bourne. Got it on the slant. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. On play action, they'll throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Patriots first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. And that's just what you're hoping for when you dial up that play call. They run play action. Then they're just going to leak the tight end to the outside. You're hoping the man assigned to him commits to the run fake, even just for a split second. And that's all they needed to get the completion and the first down. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 112 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 46. To the right side, this is Stevenson. Down to the 42, second down. Second down at six now from the 42. They'll look to throw. Douglas with a grab over the middle. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll leave them with third and a full yard to go. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And he'll go down at the 28. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? On first down, he'll drop to throw. It's going to be incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll try the left side with Stevenson. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. So they need six yards here on third down. They're two for two on third down tries so far on this drive. A give for Stevenson, running right. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. So they cite the right guard this time with a holding penalty. And so many different assignments you could have at that position, and sometimes you might just be a step too late and have to grab and hold on. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, it's intercepted! A drive killer there! Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. And the Bears will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there. Exactly as you described, an interception. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. On the ground, it's swift to start the drive. 
five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Williams to throw on second down. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit on half of them, five for 10. This will be third and five. Looking to throw, Williams. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And he will have the Bears first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. 68 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. Getting toward the middle of the fourth quarter, and with that lead, they love runs like that. And don't we spend a lot of time looking at the timeout situation, clock management, but it's really not going to matter much if they can't stop them. And right now, they're really struggling to get them on the ground. Williams, and he will find Scott on the right side complete. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Swift going to try up the middle. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around <laughs> campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Once again, it's Swift. And a short game down to about the 33. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11, probably crashing the line here. On the handoff, this is Swift. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine. And they need 10 yards out of it on third. Back to throw. Williams. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Tremendous field position there at a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. They went for the big play. Just unable to complete it. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to perhaps salt this one away. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. So that one, CD, going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening... Not great in your favor. And after the main field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. 
And Rager will not return it, so it'll come out to the 25 on the touchback. So the Patriots now down by 11, a minute 47 on the clock. They need a touchdown with a two-point conversion and a field goal in either order as they've got it first down. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. This offense has had its troubles moving the ball all night. So now you get in this situation, hard to imagine that suddenly they're going to start clicking and moving the ball downfield. They'll try again here, second and 10. He'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's knocked away and incomplete. That was one they needed to connect on. They're down, but not quite out. So you have to figure, with under two minutes to play, they need to hit on something in very short order. A big play looming on third down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And this is four down territory here. They know down two scores at this late stage, 10 yard passes aren't going to do it. So they took the shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Fourth down, 10 yards to go. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Bears are going to get the football back, and they're going to get it in great field position. But down two scores, I guess they felt like they needed to go for it. They must have thought they had a play to dial up that they could get it, and eh, well, it didn't work out. Had, they must have thought, as you pointed out, they had a play, and they were probably looking at the number of possessions that they thought were left in the game and down two scores, they must have felt like they couldn't risk not taking a shot here and giving up that chance. we got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Clock counting down toward 40 seconds as they take the knee. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game. But when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big time performance down the stretch. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From Foxborough, good night, everybody.